in this video we're gonna solve the question that says the impedance per phase of a delta connected load is 10 ohms per phase and the line voltage is 240 volts determine the one phase current two line current three apparent power of the load now to solve this solution you know how we do it we have to draw the circuit diagram now we have something like this now since we said since the question said it is delta connected load now let's draw the delta connected load for better understanding Now, these ones, they are line voltages, 240 volts, and the phase impedance. That is, each these, they are 10, 10, 10. So, they are balanced now. Now, line voltage is the voltage total using in the system. At, uh, uh, this one is the total voltage using in the system. Why the phase impedance is... The phase impedance in the system now since it's 10 ohms that is each phase is 10 load now let's write out the parameter or the data given in the question that we've read earlier now the data given are They are line voltage equal to 240 volts. Then phase impedance is 10 ohms. Now we are to calculate the phase current. So we are looking for the phase current now. And we are to calculate for the line current. So we are looking for the line current. Then the apparent power of the load but before we get the phase current let's determine the phase voltages first note this this is is delta connected load now in delta connected system phase voltage is the same as line voltage this is what we are saying in delta connected system phase footage we can say vph is equal to vl vph is equal to vl that is the value given for phase voltage will be the same thing as line voltage only in delta connected system now since since vp equal to vl definitely vp will equal to 240 volts now let's calculate for the phase current let's do the phase current now the phase current Phase current number one phase current now the phase current is IP 
to now be VP over ZP. Then what is VP? VP is 240 and our phase impedance is 10. So this cancel this and 24 divided by 1 will give us 24 ampere. Therefore, phase current is 24 ampere. Now we've gotten phase current. Now they now say we should determine the line current. How are we going to do that? Let's determine the line current. So that's number two. Determine the line current. Line current. That is IL. Remind me, this one is IPH. Don't forget to include that. Now, line current. So to convert IPH to line current, we have IPH root 3. You know, we are dealing with 3 phase, 4 wires. So, IPH root 3. It will now equal to, you know, our IPH is 24, right? So, root 3. IPH will now be 24 root 3. Just press your calculator. You have something like this 41.57 ampere now our line current is now equal to 41.57 ampere that is our line current now let's determine our apparent power our apparent power so apparent power of the load so you know we are dealing with three phase don't forget so apparent power is s i equal to root three i and v l so root three Line current is 41 times 41.57 times our VL, our Z, VL is 240, 240, our VL is 240, now just multiply this, root 3 times 41, 0.57 times 240 we have 17,280 17,280.3 VA so our apparent power will now be 17.28 KVA so that's our apparent power. So that is that for this question. So they say we should determine the phase phase current, and we've gotten our phase current. They say we should determine our line current. We've gotten our line current, and we are to determine the apparent power of the load, and we have gotten our apparent power of the load don't forget we said in delta connected system vph that is phase voltage is the same thing as line voltage and you see they gave us 240 as our line voltage here in delta connected system and our line voltage is 240 so it's the same thing as phase voltage keep that in mind don't forget in delta connected system phase voltage equal to line voltage thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and share thank you